Hey guys, so we all know when it comes to creating a business, one of the most important requirements is having a website. Now obviously it depends with whatever types of businesses you have, but in general, most of the time, if you want to have some type of funnel that can drive uh, people into potential leads and then into potential paying customers, right? You need some type of website right or maybe a booking form or whatever the case is for today we're talking about just websites right and sometimes websites are can be extremely hard to do and for certain niches it, it really doesn't have to be it can be really simple so basically what i'm trying to show you today is trying to create a website in the drop servicing niche now it's not drop shipping this is drop servicing so i call these businesses sexy born businesses um they usually are probably landscape uh the cleaning business property management businesses or airbnb short-term property management businesses what i want to show you guys is how to create like your own website right with a template that I'm going to link below as well too and just something easy that you can create and not have to spend 3000 for many of the other websites a lot of people usually end up getting or paying for it. But that being said, no time wasted, let's just try to get into it so I can try to show you as much information as possible. <coughs> So when it comes to creating a website, this is a template off of actually my own cleaning business. Um, it's called Sweep Aside and this fairly simple. In terms of like actually inputting everything together and like creating this, it is fairly simple. I would say when it comes to things like these, when it comes to creating websites, understand that people go to school for this. People spend thousands and thousands of dollars. And within the short amount of time that I'm going to show you what you can do, to be quite honest, I can go on forever and I'm not, I'm far from an expert. I'm gonna to try to condense this as much as possible, right? But just bear with me. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll answer them, okay? One of the things here, for example, is the logo, right? All you have to do is just double click it. It's pretty simple when you when you start to go through the website yourself, right? But I just wanna show you guys just in case if there's certain things that you might not understand. As I said, just leave questions below and I can help you. But for example, if you want to replace your logo, you double click it and then you can replace it with this, right? This is just uh, one of the other pictures that I have here, uh, below here. And that I, that's what I just made. But let's just keep it back to my logo, right? just keep it back to mind just because it can make it cleaner um in terms of making a logo guys just go to canva.com it's a free software and it's, it's super easy you don't need to pay for it just go on that site canva.com create a logo it takes you five minutes and then after that come put it in here everything here for example so my theme was orange if you want to change the color come here click the nav bar to link and scroll all the way here on the side and go to the backgrounds okay so now let's say if i want to do like a, a green lime color and like that's what you're trying to do let's say you're, you're doing let's say you're a modern company and you want to have green you can do green right here same thing for all this i have i've made it in a certain way that like if you for example click this now you see how it says check icon right here this is not actually clicking the box so just in case if you actually can't click the box, you're going to see these areas right here. So it's like right here, it's like breadcrumbs, literally right here. You can click on this and it shows the icon. Just come here and click check box. When you click that, it's going to check box. It's going to basically just highlight the whole part that you want. From there, you can come click and it automatically changes everything. Now, there are some the shadows behind it, which is still oranges. All the same thing, all you have to do, come down, come to this area, right? Oh, why is it not scrolling down? Scroll down, come here, right? And then you can change it back to that background as well, so it looks a little more clear. Say, so same thing with this as well too. Click this, change the background to green, right, the lime, and then after that change the actual box color to the lime. Now I'm going super quick, right, obviously that's why it's going to look a little messy, but just for demonstration's sake, I'm just showing you. So basically, 
like I've changed this whole page kind of looking into just that lime color. Same thing with this as well too. Come here, change it to that outside to that green, all right, to that lime. And then now, now let's say you're, you have a one company, easy. Same thing, all you have to do is just change it. So, Avon Services in Texas. And you don't want the GTA. If you want to change this, all you have to do is highlight this, double click it, highlight it, go to this right here, wrap this fan. What happens here is that basically this creates a whole new box for this. Then you can come here, sorry, come to color here, create that line. You know, let me get the color code so that I'm not just picking random colors for this. So I can actually try to make it as cohesive as possible. Okay, so you come here. And then it creates that. Again, feel free, input all that you need. If you need to delete some of these things, for example, just press backspace and then press backspace here, right? If you want to, like if this happens, for example, just double click it, go to auto and just press and then hide it, that's all. And now you just have six. And the same thing, if you wanna add more, just click it, add more, you can add more and more, you can just keep on going, right? But I just keep it clean and let's keep it back to where I originally had it, okay? So now this picture, all I just did was I went on Google. So let's say I go on Google and I go to a uh, um, green lawn, right? The reason why I'm typing green is that Google will most likely give you the type of color you're looking for. Now, obviously lawns are green, right? So obviously, so if you type lawn, you're probably gonna get green regardless. But the reason why I did that, let's say if you're, let's say if you're a landscape company, right? Or let's say you're a cleaning business, right? And you type in kitchen, right you're gonna get all types of kitchen right but if you type in red kitchen kitchen red then you're gonna get kitchens that are more red that way or let me even type in a line that way I can easily just get like something like this save this and then input that I can come here let me close this I can come here it's a little bit slow come here and then go here and then input that lime kitchen so it kind of fits that format try to make all the colors the same and not all over the place as I said oh, same thing here as well too with these images <clears throat> if you go on icons you can go on icons um, there was a specific icon actually this is it right here yeah so you can go on icons, type in what type of icon you want. So let's say I want a thumbs icon, thumbs up. What will it give me? Let me see. It might be the same one. So you can go to Lime, exactly, and pick it here. And then you can easily just save it. You can free download. When you, let's see if I can do it quickly so I can show you guys. Yeah, so you free download that. This is only going to be, make sure it's a PNG file, that way PNGs are usually transparent, so it still has that, like it has that uh, transparent look behind it. So all you do, same thing as I said here, double click it, come here, green. And now you have green here instead. If you wanna make it bigger, you can make it bigger. If you wanna make it smaller, you can do the same thing as well too. And do that for all these other ones as well too. If you want to also change the background, I don't really, I wouldn't suggest that you change it just because things can, can become very fidgety as soon as you start to change like the background, like the actual background of what everything is laid on. But if you want to, all you have to do is, remember these bed crumbs I basically mentioned, come here, you can nap, you can just basically hover over them until you see the one, for example, that colors this whole this whole area right here okay so in terms of this background change it to this green 
right and it becomes green like that okay now again it doesn't really look nice that's why i wouldn't say what you could do is that you can just like fade it a little bit out and put some transparency on it but like again like you don't want to go that much right like this is fine if you want to make maybe a different color like a complementary color then i sure i suggest doing that right but just don't try to mess with it too much because one then you start to also make your website pretty pretty fidgety and then i mean then it kind of messes up um same thing here everything applies all of these are just icons you can come here just change it if you want to like lawn you can change your everything icon same thing just go to the icon website i'm gonna put this in here so you you know exactly where it is and you just do that same thing here as well too this what i did was i went on canva i'm gonna try to simplify it at least but all i did basically was i went on canva i just downloaded this picture right here i went on canva changed this had a, a, a orange box I replaced it here and then I just found an arrow right and then I just did schedule in if you're doing lawn scheduling lawn services or scheduling in booking meeting whatever right and then just to kind of fit that same format so for this it will be lime and this one as well I just did the same thing I just got a box filled it with orange and then I just put 11 and then just to make it simple after that um, here if you want to remove some of these sec these sections as well too all you have to do as well too like for example i know people wouldn't want to do this so you just come here you can click page padding or if you can't find it just go to this breadcrumbs i talked about keep on hovering it until the whole section that whole area is covered press it and then backspace okay then that page is removed if you want to do the same thing for here as well backspace and that part's removed. So you just want this part, this part, and this part, and you can do that. Here's testimonials. It's always good to have testimonials. One of the formats I follow in terms of making a website that I probably should have named in the beginning is called ADA. That stands for Attention, Desire, Interest, and Conviction, okay? Um, attention is here. You want to grab something, so let's go on the mobile view. So when you go to the mobile view, this is basically how it's going to look like. You put something more attention grabbing, right? So obviously it will be something more than this. I would say more than this. You can put uh, uh, best priced long services in Texas, right? But you put that there. And then the conviction is the customers. You want to make sure that people know, okay, this is actually good. Like other people have taken the services, have had these services and they recommend it. And then the last part in terms of the ADA is action. Now you want to create a call to action. Now, my call to action is right here. The reasons why it's not showing is because this is actually an embedded script or it's an embedded code, uh, embedded code from uh, my CRM that I'm using. It's called Booking Koala. Uh, if you guys are using like a CRM, like Jobber, for example, has is another CRM. Uh, go high, go high levels. Another CRM as well too. Basically, I don't know if I can show you guys that because it might be a little bit too much. But just to make it simple, all you have to do is go. This will be here, so so it wouldn't like you guys can understand it. But on Jobber or for example, Booking Koala, there are sections on it that you would be able to uh, that they allow you to create your own website or basically input their own booking form there. If you don't understand in terms of what I'm talking about, feel free and contact whatever CRM you are with. They are going to help you because they want, basically when you do that, they want more money. So they're going to show you, like every every CRM has this, has this option. So just contact them and ask them, hey, I would like the code for um, to put onto my website for the booking form. If you just tell them that, they'll show you exactly where to look for it, right, and where to get it. And you can just, all you have to do is input it exactly where, where, where it says here. All you have to do is, here won't let me do it just because uh, um, this is actually not a live website. But when you go on yours, come here. If this is already here, just remove this. Press backspace. Here, as I said, I can't press backspace. Press backspace and then input it and then press save. 
and you press save, what it should look like should be this. And this is how it should look like. Sweep aside looks like this. So this is where uh, Jobber, for example, will probably have it booking for him, but it'll look like this in replacement for just this, okay? Just to keep it simple, okay? Now, this is the first page. There's many other pages as well too that I have here for the links up here, right? So home, Airbnb services, uh, medical care, customer login, come to booking services. So here again, I have booking koala and it just gives me a script. It shows, this is what it looks like when I go on mine, is it? When I go on my Airbnb services, this is how it shows. It shows basically the whole format of how someone can book, right? Again, if you don't know how to do that, contact your CRM, they'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. And then just input that, input that for where I've, what I've done, and then press save, then you're done. Change all the information, if you're, the number and all that, change all the information, and you're done. So again, what I'm trying to do here is, right, so this is how it's gonna look on mobile, okay? Clean right and you don't want too much all over the place this is how this is how my website looks on mobile right but yours will look like the same thing because it's the same exact format two main things though i would say is one editing make sure you edit on this right here so on the desktop version and then right here on the mobile portrait okay these are the two screens that most people are going to look at your stuff through okay so on phones, most of the time people actually look at your website on a phone and I would try to say when you're editing on desktop, try to also edit on the mobile version as well too just because a lot of times, if anything, you're probably going to receive a lot more people on mobile uh, depending on obviously what niche you have, but I would say just in general across usually a lot of niches and across the, across using industries mobile is usually the place most people usually use so try to work as much as on mobile as well on desktop as well and uh yeah keep it simple guys keep it simple if you don't need something delete it you don't need to add everything here i'm adding like if you don't want to add this frequently asked questions section you can delete it I wouldn't necessarily say you do that though. You want to eliminate those limiting beliefs that a lot of people have, and at least that's gonna be good for this. But again, it, a lot of things like, for example, this, if you don't need, then fine, change it, right? It's just completely up to your niche and whatever you're doing in your business. If you don't want to add something, then don't add it. Don't make it long as shit. It doesn't need to be. It can be simple, right? And you just want to make it coherent, okay? you don't have to have the best one. You don't have to have an Apple caliber website, okay? You can have something extremely simple. Something like this is extremely simple, right? It's not amazing, nor is it bad, okay? If you guys have questions, which I know you guys are going to, feel free, let me know. But with that being said, just follow this format, guys. Use this, and honestly, I just want to be able to help people because we're all in this journey together. And the more we can help, the more I can help, the more I know someone can help me, right? And vice versa. And uh, these are things that I know that a lot of people want and like, because people have told me and I had people told me they like websites are one of the huge, or one of the biggest obstacles. And I'm saying like, I know I can help, right? And that's why I want to help. So this template is going to be down below. And if you have any questions, as I said, just let me know. And I hope this helps guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video and Grind together, guys.